Hi, this is Liz Barnes at Ear in the Envelope, Inc. Today we're going to show you how to put holes in your heart charms. The items that you'll need will be... The first thing you'll need is a helicopter punch. We have these available on our site, so if you want to check those out, they're a wonderful, very inexpensive little tool. The other thing you're going to need are the charms that we just got and they are ready to roll. We are going to be selling these much less expensively untumbled. They take quite a bit of work to tumble, so you may want to think about looking at our information on tumbling on our foodsafemetal.com. The other item you'll need are two toothpicks wrapped in tape and a rubber band. On the helicopter punch, you're going to notice that there are two different size punches. On the smaller punch, you are going to add the two toothpicks as a spacer. So Liz right now will put the toothpicks in, and then we'll use a rubber band to hold those toothpicks in place as you're working. And just put it right in the indented area of the other punch. Oops. There you go. So now you have something that's a little more stable that you can control. The next step is to take your little heart punch, put it right in there, the, the two rounded end part. Almost looks like a three and a V. So the three part goes in. Now the trick is that the little pointed area right here, you want to make sure the triangle is square. If the triangle is square, you know you're in the center. The next step is to screw down on top of your heart. And you're going to notice as you're screwing that it will catch and it will be difficult to turn. Keep turning until all of a sudden you notice that it's much more easy to turn. That means you've gone through all the way. Notice the little piece that just came out. Unscrew and your heart will come out. And let's get a close-up on that so we can see it. Holes right in the center. Beautiful. And then if you turn it over you'll notice that with this punch it's pretty clean. Use some pressure on a sunshine cloth. Buff it up and you can see what a beautiful shine you get. Do both sides and you'll be amazed. So right now we're going to put a hole in the larger charm. We are going to use the side of the helicopter punch with the thicker punch. And we just go ahead and put that in there. We don't need to do any adjusting with a toothpick for this. It's perfect width in there. Just put it right in. Make sure that the point of the triangle is center with what you have and it's flush toward the back and you should be right on. Twist it till you no longer feel tension and then untwist and you'll be able to get that out. Alright, let's get a nice look of that one, very nice, right in the center, exactly where you want it to be. Then gently remove the protective plastic. Each one will come with plastic on top. There's plastic on the back. This is great to leave on while you're working. It prevents you from scratching your piece. Then get one of the sunshine claws that we have. Put it on a hard surface and give it some pressure back and forth. You're going to push off any tarnish that might be there. The other thing you're doing is you're actually compressing the metal. When you compress metal, you actually create a deeper, stronger shine. We're doing the top and the bottom. The edges are just a little bit rough, but not too bad. So you can actually buff up the sides also. And there you go. You've got your beautiful charm that you're ready to go ahead and make a pendant or a bracelet. Have fun, enjoy, and hope you have a great time creating.